Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. All right, let's go to topic three, man. Let's close it out. Topic three. Beast of prey. Oh, my bad. I was reading something. <laughs> Beast of prey. All right, play the first one. Turn it up, please. Go ahead and retell my story. This happened at a Walmart in the Fountain, Colorado area, which is right outside. Bro, what is going Colorado. on in Colorado, bro? Right. It's a spirit down there. It's a spirit in Colorado, yeah. man. Hey. Something going on up there. I think the altitude's messing everything up. Man. Don't make right. All right, go, go back to it. This is another warning for you sisters out there. Replay that. Walmart in the Fountain, Colorado area, which is right outside of Colorado Springs at 2 p.m. in the day. I was drugged and almost abducted. The question that I always get is, how did this happen? Like, how the hell were you drugged in a Walmart at 2 p.m. in the day? And, y'all, honestly, I can't even, <laughs> I'm still trying to process. But the facts are that two people who looked like me now stop, see, see, black people, black, black people, you know, right. it's, it's going to be your own people, all right, it's going to be your own people that's going to do you dirty in these last days, right. man, Right. go ahead, play it. It wasn't a creep, it was somebody who looked older and creepy and scary, was somebody who looked like they could be my cousin, and the woman was the one who came up to me talking really fast, asking me if I wanted to smell a perfume from her new Hey, y'all heard of that before, right? Yep. The fragrances. Right. Sisters, don't be sniffing no fragrances that you didn't buy. How about that? All right, let's make it, let's make it better, easier That's to right. protect ourselves. Go ahead. Right. It was on my arm. It smelled like perfume. It didn't burn. There was nothing weird about it. Nothing at all. I put my wrist up to my nose like this, and I guess by taking a regular inhale, because I did not sniff it, um, it went into my system by both my nose and through my skin. I instantly began to lose consciousness, so I started to walk backwards so I can keep my eyes on them, um, stumbling, trying to get to my aunt. However, I remember the man's face so vividly. He was smiling, and they were both walking towards me. Still. I was able to take a picture of them. All right, so, so kill, kill that one. But just showing you, uh, you know, sisters, and brothers too, man. Oh yes. And you, when you see some suspicious people that you don't know, man, hey, keep keep it moving. Watch right. your surroundings. That's right. You know, that's All right. right. Uh, what's the next one? What is the next one? This is sgtnewsnetwork.com. Mm -hmm. This is disgusting. Predators are being honored with statuses. Statues, statues, and if it that doesn't tell you the absolute cesspool society is heading towards. Hey, we read oh, earlier that the that? evils is, 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 is spreading throughout the earth. Right. Play the video clip. This is a new bronze statue of Alfred Kinsey at Indiana University's Bloomington campus. 
Alfred Kinsey was in reality a disgusting pedophile. A pedophile. But he's being honored with a statue. All right. Hey, we see the narrative changing, man. The evils is increasing on the earth. Right. Right. All right. Those predators. You remember in Illinois, they finna let people who do it, they trying to abduct her, human trafficking, they gonna be let right back out on the streets. Right. Now they're doing what? They're setting up, erecting statues. Right. And, and, and memorandum of pedophiles. Right. Mm. All right, go ahead. 1953 research named the Kinsey Reports. He did multiple studies on the orgasms of children and babies in the name of science. In the name of, bro, you gotta be kidding me, bro. Fin I'm sorry, finish that off. We gotta keep it moving. ...that children were sexual from birth. Kinsey was described by others as a sexual psychopath. His research was disproportionately based on surveys taken from sex offenders, prostitutes, and prison inmates. Wow. But hey, kill that. But now he has a statue in wow. his memory for the work that he did. All right, you see this foolishness. All right, what's next? What's next? Because we're going over the, the predators on this one. What's next? Uh, go to the video clip. First Lady Jill Biden wants your kids to have free, unfettered access to smutty, graphic adult content in the school libraries. Yeah, I know, this. it sounds crazy, but watch. Is there a balance between, you know, this book should be in the library, this book All is under review? All books should be in the library. All books. This is America. We don't ban books. Wait, wait. All books? That would be one heck of a library. Clearly, she's smart enough to realize that all libraries have to make certain decisions about what books to include and what not to include. I mean, if you had a library that had all books included, it would be bigger than the Empire State Building. She's not that dumb, right? I mean, after all, she's a doctor. Of course, this is a false argument. It's a straw man. No one's actually arguing and advocating for banning books. No, what we'd like is an adult in the room to use some discernment and judgment to determine which books might be inappropriate for a child. Right, because they're blurring the lines with that thing. Right. Yep. You had something? Yeah, they, they, they blocking the, the, the true history, you know, the, um, the project that the sister was doing where she was teaching slavery. They blocking that from school, but they're telling that it's okay to teach kids this pedophilia stuff. That's showing you the, the agenda that these people got. What was the name of that project that they was doing? The, the 1611 project? How they blocking 1619. that? 1619. 1619 project? Yeah, they're blocking that from schools so our kids won't learn the truth about what happened to their ancestors to get over here, but then at the same time, they tell you that our kids need to learn about sexual stuff. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Agenda. Hey, bro. Hey, Come on take now, your kids no. out if you can, man. Right. It's to, hey, we got to get these homeschools up and running, man, because right. that's that's what is awaiting them. Okay. Right. They're te they're teaching uh, to be uh, learning about sexuality at a, at a young age. All right. They're they're erecting statues of pedophiles. That's what they do. All right. So it's forcing us to actually be uh, men and women of our words. We say we believe, but we actually got to do it. <laughs> Somebody in the comments say, the, or the Bible should be in school. <laughs> right, right. Oh, right. praise. All right, go ahead. Right. Uh, not the same clip. Go to the next clip. Predators, predator hunters catch a pedophile identifying as trans, red-handed, with intent to molest children. And that's what it is, man. Just stop stop uh, trying to sugarcoat it. That's what these people do. Right. Okay, they're trying to act like they're good for kids, that they're good, upstanding individuals. No, they rape and molest. That's what they do. That's what transgenders do. That's right. what these pedophiles do. I'll uh, play the clip. Can you do something? Can you please do Why it? is this person on the street? Why is this person with child porn all over their phone on the street still? I understand. Right? I understand where you're coming from. But well, we already discussed this. Ma'am, you can go. And that's a man. That's not a woman. That's a man that's a with child porn. Hey, but that's a glimpse of what's going how it's gonna be in Illinois. Right. Excuse me, sir. This is my property. Well, I already told you. I can only give them a ticket. I can't remove them. That's how it's gonna be. Obviously, that person is in a neighborhood with children, with books of child pornography. It's a man dressed as a woman. Yeah. Obviously, they should be roped off. But right. that is America. Right. That's the America right there. Right. All right. Uh, go to the next one where, where uh, predators are treated like the victims. Damn right. Jesus. All right. Go to the next one. What is your What is your drag character? This is who they're bringing to read to and interact with. How is this? This is who they're bringing to read and to inter to read and to interact with kids in NYC libraries, and our tax dollars are funding it. 
much. Wait a minute. My name is Professor Lionel Longleg. What? My pronouns are they, fair, fair. It, it, it. And they, them is just fine. So if you wanted to refer to me, you would say Faye is a drag storyteller. It loves to read. And some of their favorite books are Where the Wild Things oh, Are wow, and From the book. Stars in the Sky to the Fish in the Sea. And I have been reading with Drag Storyteller with Drag Story Hour for a year and a half. And my drag character is a drag thing that can be anything in the world. Today now, Stop, you, you see this foolishness, bro? It's, 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 it's sickening. It is sickening. They are training them. They're putting that... They're kids. They already know what a kid's mind is going to do with that right. type of information. Mm -hmm. A drag character? You had something, officer? Yes, sir. Um, just like in the book of um, Genesis, how God destroyed Solomon and Gomorrah, mm -hmm. he's right. doing the same thing to America. Right. Because we're doing the same thing. Give me um, Genesis 19 and 24. So we got to wake up. We got to wake up. That's why the Bible told us to teach our kids the laws and statutes right. of the Bible. That's, that's right. So they can know not to talk, you know what I'm saying, to these type of people. Right. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 19 and verse 24. Uh-huh. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom. He did what? Rained upon Sodom. Uh-huh. And upon Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. Brimstone and fire. Brimstone and what? And fire. That's how the United States of America going to do. They're going to burn. Because of sin. Read. From the Lord out of heaven. Uh-huh. From 25. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. You see that? He's going to destroy all, all the sin out of that city. So what we got to do, we got to keep these commandments in the faith of Jesus the Christ. Right. Just to back you up, uh, read that in Isaiah 13, 19. Just to back up what the officer just brought out. Showing you what that's what happened to actual Sodom and Gomorrah. The same thing will happen to Babylon the Great. Right. Right. Hey, and you, the Christian church, you know, the Christian church is full of, full of crap. Bring right. This is a question that I will continue to say. All of you Christians out there that watch us secretly, ask your pastor who Babylon is Bring it up. In, in Revelation. Ask him that. Because he has to say America. If he says anything else, he's a liar. And if they're trying to say it's Iraq, uh, uh, current present day Iraq because that was ancient Babylon here's a scripture you use in defense and you need to come out of that church and repent as an Israelite that's read right. what you got you know, that's right. the book of Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 19 come on and Babylon the glory of kingdoms the beauty of the Chaldeans excellency shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah right Iraq is still there it's still inhabitable understand this Sodom and Gomorrah is in wait it's still, it's uninhabitable. Damn it, I don't confuse myself. You got myself. uninhabitable. Uninhabitable. Unhabitable. Thank right. you. You all right. You in the school system. All right. <laughs> uninhabitable. But guess what? It said that this Babylon right here that's going to be destroyed is going to be uninhabitable. What is that right. talking about? United States of America. That's, that's right. right. That's what it's talking about. That's right. Hey, let's wrap it up for the sake of time. Um, what we had next? What's the next video? Uh, read that. Mothers protecting their children from pedophiles in the government are, are not extremists. So they're calling, they're calling, um, they're calling mothers who want to protect their children from the drag queens and the pedophiles extremists. Wow. Anybody that goes against their agenda is ex considered an extremist. Come on wow. now. That's how they're painting it. All right. Come and we understand on. that they're setting that up for us. Right. That's, that's what they're doing. This is the beginning of it, though. Read on. I'm sorry. Play the clip. Do you realize what you've done? You've taken ordinary women from across the country and turn them into warriors the moment you tried to tell us what is best for our children. And you can try to censor us, but we'll outsmart you. And you can kick us out of school board meetings, but we won't be silenced. You can turn public schools into indoctrination camps and we'll just homeschool. You can mandate- Hey, you see that, you see, you see the white woman? Right. Quick. It's, oh, we don't have to do that. We're just homeschool. Right. Hey, uh, black, uh, 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 black sisters, y'all need to follow that. That's actually a good example. Right. Yeah, yeah. I don't follow that independent women crap. We, we right. smashed that last week right. Right. with the, uh, the the true agenda of feminism. Right. Follow the good examples. Bring it up. Right. All right, follow Christ. That's what we really say. That's right. All right, go ahead. We'll just stay home. You can pledge your support to woke agendas, and we'll just shop elsewhere. You can turn a theme park into a grooming den. We don't need Mickey Mouse. You can try to scare us with fake science, but we've done our research. You can try to turn our children into medical experiments, but you're going to have to kill us first. And now, you know, it's crazy. Hey, 
Esau, they they willing to die for theirs. Right. right. Hey, but we the only one with the truth. So shouldn't our mentality up. be even stronger than that? Right. right. Well, that's how we got to we, we gotta be zealous for the laws yes. of God. That's right. right. All right. Remember what it says, Second Ezra 2. It says, those that stood so boldly for the name of Christ. Right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.